Hello beautiful, this is Karen at Soul Magic 99. Thank you so much for joining me today. And we're doing a Divine Masculine Feelings check-in. So we're going to see what are his current feelings. So decks I'm using um, um, from me and from Angelic Revelation 144. The links will be down below. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing. When I get to 2.5 thousand subscribers, there will be a giveaway of two decks or a read or readings to two winners for your support so thank you so much so let's look at the energies that we've got at the moment and we're going to clarify this with the tarot so we've got um for a nice lenormand so we've got scythe magnifying glass gonna put the light on here very dingy today here child dog Love language, letter, time, the rider, the ship, stalk, feminine, and twin flame. So you can see there's there's a lot of cards here about communication. So these readings are for people in separation, no contact, but it does look like the masculine is wanting to reach out at some point. We've got the sigh of energy here, precise, sharp, clear, can be cut in. So this could have been words exchanged. Your person could maybe be, you know, spoken to quite sharply or harshly, or you, you did to them at some point. It could have been quite hurtful. The communication, the last communication you had maybe was very cutting, you know, not pleasant maybe for some of you. So let's see what that's here. Yeah, Ten of Wands, I feel you felt burdened about this, you know, it's been a burden for both of you, I feel it wasn't ended in the right way, is there ever a good way to end something, but certainly if you exchange harsh words and communication, it's not a good way to end any situation, but the good news is the Ten is the end of that cycle, so you're coming out of that. We've got magnifying glass, take a closer look. So I think the masculine has really been doing that, okay? He's been really examining himself. He's really been contemplating, going within, looking at his actions, his motives within this connection. I feel he's really been, you know, re-examining what, what has been said or done in this connection. We've got nine of coins energy. So I think he sees his feminine as somebody in that energy. You know, you're independent, you're financially stable. You seem happy to be on your own. And he may think that, you you know, you've moved on from this situation. The next card is child. We've got youthful, playful, inner child healing. So I do feel that you triggered this in, in each other. You know, there's possibly some inner you know, child work has been needed to be done here. So... I feel that a lot of the feminines have done this, but whether the masculine has. But again, they may not have had a choice. They may have, you know, had to look within at some point. So why is this energy here? Hermit, yeah, he has. We've got the hermit energy here. So he's gone within. He's really spent time alone. He's really, you know, really re-examining his actions, his motives, his words. And he's really, you know, receiving that illumination, or he will do. And the next energy is dog, best friend, loyal, loving and devoted. He wants to come across in this way to his feminine, and maybe he didn't. He wants to come across in this loyal, loving energy. And maybe before he didn't, you know, we've got the side energy there. Maybe he didn't come across in that way, okay? Maybe he thought he was coming across that way. So why is the dog energy here? Got five of cups energy. So yeah, it was like feeling left out in the cold, not feeling that energy. You know, the feminine wasn't feeling that energy. If the masculine thought he was acting in that way, she wasn't feeling that. She was just feeling left out in the cold, basically. And I feel that was a vice versa energy. But we've got love language, social media, text calls and dating. I feel that, you know, he's really been looking at your social media account, to be honest with you. Um... And again, we've got the text and calls, so he may feel he wants to reach out here at some point. Or he may feel that you have moved on. He may be seeing, you know, checking to see if you've maybe moved on in your life. We've got Queen of Swords energy. So he may see you in this energy. 
you may be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or we may see you in this energy of somebody again that can be, you know, speak very bluntly. But this this queen is her guard is down. You can see that she's not defensive here. Okay, she's open. She's got an open posture. So I feel that the feminine is open to communication here, but the masculine may not be sure. And again, we've got another communication card, letter, thoughtful, passionate, love and communication. He wants to reach out in a loving way here. He wants to reach out to his feminine in that loving way. And he may have been writing things and, you know, like a real letter and he may have torn them up. He may be struggling to put into words his feelings. We get eight of wands, which is confirming that communication. So there will be communication coming in, and it's passionate communication. And we've got the time. We must go on regardless and trust in divine timing. So I feel that he is starting to trust in that within his own life, this divine timing. You may have spoken to him about this, and he may realise that he has to let go of control issues. I feel a lot of the masculines were very much... Um, in control, you know, trying to control the situation, trying to control this connection. We've got two of wands energy here. So, yeah, there, there is a time to make a choice at some point. You know, there will come a time when there is a, you know, which road do you go down? And then we've got the rider, so another communication card. So fast news travelling towards you. So there's definitely a communication coming in towards you. It could be an actual letter, it could be a text, it could be an email. And for some of you, it could even be your person turning up. Um, you know, because the rider, I always imagine somebody on horseback, you know, galloping in. You never know, they could just turn up for some of you. Wow, because we've got the Two of Cups energy. They're, they're wanting to express their love. They're wanting to exchange their cup of love here with you. But at the moment, they're not sure if you're reciprocating that. We've got overseas travel that maybe they've got to travel to see you or maybe they want to travel with you abroad. You know, maybe they want to take you on a holiday or go away with you somewhere. I think that came up in the thoughts reading about going away with you, um, taking you away so that you're just alone, just the two of you. So why is the ship here? Because we've got the strength of love. They've realised their feelings, their passion, their love. They're realising that it is strong, that it is genuine here. But they're just hoping that you're reciprocating. And we've got the stork energy. We've got spring upgrades, evolution and family. So I feel they're really wanting a family. They're wanting to have a child with you. They're wanting to create a baby with you. Okay, this home, this stability. So why is Stork here? Yeah, Six of Cups, reconciliation. They want that reconciliation with you. They want to walk off into the sun, sunset. You know, there's a beautiful sun in that card. Just the two of you, beautiful. Yeah, and you're very much on their mind. We've got the feminine energy here, which is the number 11 card. So they are wanting their feminine. They're very much, you're very much on their mind. And when I said that, it was 8.18 on the clock here. So they're very much thinking of their feminine. Yeah, they want they want to give you the world. The world is your oyster. They want to give you the world. They, you know, there's a there's a pearl. This could be um, a message that there's a, you know some jewelry or a ring even that they want to give to you, and they want to start a new cycle. They want that new beginning with you. And they do understand this connection, this twin flame connection. They're feeling this, and they may not know the term twin flame, but they are feeling this energetic connection. They've realised that you trigger each other in some way, that you've helped them to heal, to change, to grow in some way. So why is twin flame here? What's twin flame here? They are feeling a bit defensive still here though. But they want to come forward with an offer of love, a message of love here. Because to them you are a good goddess. They see you in your feminine energy and you are a beautiful goddess to them. And we've got the King of Cups energy. So they're really in their feelings. They could be water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but they're in their feelings, they're in their emotions. And we've got the sun. So we've got the sun and the moon, the god and the goddess. You are divine counterparts here, and they're starting to realise this and feel these 
beautiful energies so it's a beautiful message so what other messages yeah so in the past i feel that you were both wearing masks you know you weren't being authentic with each other you weren't being honest with each other about who you were we've got secret admirer someone who's watching you from afar loving you but not saying anything so they are looking at you as i say they're looking at you from afar on your social media or something they've got that clarity now and they want these open honest talk with you to really work things out with you and they feel like you put a spell on them you know they this love this love energy has overtaken them basically and they want to be open and honest with you and yeah they want to detach from the world just you and them and go away together somewhere and yeah they've got a beautiful couple here you know romantic meal looking out of the ocean the first day of the rest of our lives this is what they want they want to spend the rest of their lives with you okay beautiful so let's have a look at this is my new deck love about you oracle so what do they love about the feminine so they love your hair and they would they know that they would be so lucky and proud to have you as a partner they know that a lot of men desire you or vice versa if you're a woman if you're a man rather you know take what resonates they they see you as someone very intelligent and they love the way that you're so positive and they want to stay together they love you they want to stay together another couple here hand in hand so what sensual desires have they got so they want to hold you and love you all night long they love it when you dress up for them sexy sexy lingerie you know they might be thinking of that a lot maybe you did that they want to take that leap of faith with you they adore you they really adore you they want to hug you hold you tight they want to take you away we had that before like go to a holiday somewhere like they're on the beach there some sexy fun times on the beach they want you to tell them exactly what you want them to do to you they want to really make it up to you in a really big way they want to make love to you between the sheets they want to make love in the shower make you wet get you hot they want to sweep you away with passion and desire that's how they're feeling beautiful so what they want to say is invite me over and I will stay the night loving every inch of you with all my loving might. So they, there's a lot of passionate feelings here. I have so many things I want to do to you in and out of the bedroom and I want to love you too. But it's not just passion. We had the love. We had the two of cups. We had the king of cups. You know, there's a lot of love messages here. And I'm not used to being in my feelings. I always end up in my head. But you are there too. It's driving me crazy, this me and you. So, you know, they're really in their feelings. The minute we met, I wanted to rip off your clothes, take you to bed, did you know? So they, again, like the minute they met you, they felt very passionate about you. So let's get some future energies. So the surprise is on the way here. Again, spell on you. They feel that you've mesmerised. You could both feel the, the way that way about each other, that you've mesmerised, enchanted by each other. The sudden change is coming in here. And they know that they need to be in that balanced energy of give and take. Maybe they wasn't in that energy before. There's a lot of desire here coming to the surface, you know, I think it's mutual. And we've got divine union here, so that, you know, that's confirmation for me that they are wanting this, you know, they're wanting this as much as you want it. So let's get some final divine love affirmations. So I speak with love and compassion, being mindful that impulsive outbursts and harsh words would wound my divine partner. So we started off with the scythe. So I feel that they've learned that their harsh words are really, can be really hurtful and wounding. And they're realising this now, that they've really hurt you in the past. I choose to embrace love and laughter, living life to the fullest with my divine partner. I love you. So again, another confirmation here that there is love here and they want to come forward and they want to have this beautiful union with you. So there are your messages. Sending you lots of love and blessings. Take care. Bye for now.